what is up guys it's me boy kid with some we are back again with another video and you know exactly what time it is and i'm very excited for this one but before we begin i really have to ask you guys to uh, you should never just the start of the video but it's to subscribe because around 60 percent of the people that watch my videos are not subscribed so if you could subscribe that would really help help me out when you get to the 50ks and the 60ks and the 100ks at some point in my life but there's no rush for it but anyway we have another trailer it's weekly trailer time and this time is i there was a trailer people were expecting instead of this one people thought the trailer order got leaked maybe it did and now they're switching things around because oh crap they know the order doesn't matter either way sir gay dragonov is here very excited you guys don't know this is a character i actually played myself going to second prime blah 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 so i love these trailers because i know a lot about these characters anyway um so it's easier for me to see the difference between what's new what's old um i can pick up on the stuff and it, I, I think that's really fun um so yeah i get into this one really excited sergey dragonov uh hopefully he has myths in this game that'd be pretty cool wouldn't it gosh also if you are spanish speaking i have something i might have something special for you um, but we'll save that for the end of the video so if you're spanish speaking make sure you watch the end of the video and i have something that might be nice for you white reaper oh it's still crawling man bro he looks first off the the r was the role of the r was was muy fantastico um i just made that up he i like his look by the way like i don't know what it is about tech and giving everyone dope jackets bro but anyway let's just watch through the trailer and then go from there probably there's a special intro with raven bro i like <laughs> i like dragon on a break man okay what was running we'll have to take a look at that was that a new attack from full crouch that's gonna make down two really annoying New string, forward three four, down four three plus four. Same combo. Back four two into a stance. Oh, that's sick, bro. I didn't mean to pause it. Oh, with Victor. Cela faisait longtemps. Ange blanc de la mort. Yo, that was cold, bro. That was sick. We haven't seen the stage yet in gameplay at all, by the way, as well. There's a lot of wall blasts in this game. Like four threes, a heat engage. I don't know if I like that running two heat smash. Crouch throws still exist. The crouch throws a heat smash as a heat engage. His tackles a heat action. But what's with all these blue spots, bro? Running two's not a heat engager though. I like that. I like. Oh my god. That is cold. No pun intended. I like that a lot, bro. I like Dragonos new like <laughs> I don't even know. But I like comedic Dragonov. You know, he's looking at the camera, he's moving the camera. And it's, it's Dragonov on a break, right? I can't remember, but there's something in his bio that said something about Dragonov's like on a break. Yeah, Dragnov returns home and is in recognition of his dedication to his hard work is granted an extended leave for the first time in his life. Dragnov is known for his extreme work ethic so much so much so that it is rumored he even works in his sleep. However, on, upon returning to his room, it's as if he has a spring in his step in his study. Dragnov opens a safe and removes an ancient no notebook with an eerie cover, which he begins to examine. The usually cold heart Dragnov seems to be in high spirits as he writes. From his unsettling manner, it is clear it can be one thing. A list known and feared as the Angel of Death's list. However, in reality, is nothing more than a bucket list of things that Dragonov has been saving up to do when he finally has some extended free time. Uh, Dragonov chooses a task that is particularly difficult to achieve with that new aim. Yeah, so Dragonov's on, he's on leave. He's on break, right? Like, they're like, bro, you've been working so hard. Here's a break. And then Dragonov now has a new pep in his step. You know, you like to see it, but we'll take a look at a lot of things. Um, So running two. It's not a heat engage. A lot of people thought it would be, but I like this. Not it's spot. Uh, no, I kind of don't because the way running moves work in Tekken Eight, I'm not a fan of them. I'm probably gonna. Do, I need to at some point do my whole roundup review of why I don't like in Tekken Eight. Um, at some point. 
um because there's a lot i really don't like the way your enemies work it's they're too easy to pull off instant and i think with a character like i guess it was i don't know if it'd be worse if it was a he engage it'd be better but i'm not a fan of that and when dragon was running to being the way there is like i'm just not a fan of it but also yeah so running to not being a he engage i like it because i think for like claudia for example claudia's running to isn't as important as drag's running to is to his kit right so i think keeping that the same as it is virtually in Tekken 7 um is okay but i dragon of is just funny man he's just funny and he looks really good and he's i just really i think me and dragon are the same age as well so unfortunate is it did you guys hear it did, did you guys hear a cameraman was that dragon of making that sound or was that the cameraman do we actually know who the cameraman is this game? Running 2. It looks like Running 2 just has blue sparks then. It looks like it's blue sparks. So I don't know how you would trigger uh, blue sparks running 2. I don't know. Perfect just frame run input. I don't know. But blue frame, uh, blue sparks running 2. Also, there's chip damage, kind of what I expected. That looks like just a new low entirely, you know. So they've given Dragon a new low. That looks like it. Well, it's after running too, so Dragon's very plus. Tracks him side step to the left. 2 1 into sneak. Is, I think that's new. 2 1 into sneak. I'm pretty sure that's new. He can't do that in Tekken 7. Again, I mentioned this in the uh, Leo trailer. This is a big thing they're doing in Tekken 8 is 10 frame punishes into stance. Leo has it 1 4, one, four into, I think it's K and K uh Jin 2-4 into Zen now they have Dragon 2-4 into Sneak so he has a new power crush from Sneak but it's basically his so oh no it's not a new power crush so his CD4 uh in Sneak is now a power crush as well so probably unsafe so down two did it leave Raven in crouch that's very important very important let's find out down two leaves raven in crouch oh no he gets up standing he's in crouch but he, get, he gets up standing but it looks like dragon now has a new full crouch that's a full crouch low so let's have it looks like full crouch two three into sneak which he then does into sneak three so this is interesting this is very interesting because dragon having access to new full crouch options which it looks like it may leave him crouching as well and it leaves your opponent is standing after down two i think really changes the mind game let me interested to see how that works out so that's a new full crouch move full crouch it looks like down full crouch down forward two three we'll say into sneak three does the same thing as before lock on the slide launch punish so forward four three looks like a new New move there. That's down for three plus four, which now uses in combo. And then down forward three, one, four. Same ender. So back four, two also goes into sneak. So they're giving a lot of options for Dragon to get into sneak, which I guess is pretty good for the character because sneak into wild standing four is one of his like best ways to track down an opponent and like sort of pin them down. Um, especially Dragon of's weird mids, which may be fixed in this game. Who knows? Um, uh, but sneak into while standing forward is a very safe way to keep your pressure going as dragon off. So yeah, it does QCF2. Running forward now has changed what it does. Running forward, this is so cool. This is something I like in Tekken 8, right? Is just giving stuff more just more pizzazz, more oomph, you know. Because this is the this is running four, right? Which before you should just knock them uh really high well not really not that high but high to, to normally i used to, well dragon i used to move to get a clean wall splat right but now it just get, it gives you this nice cool throw animation which then tail flips afterwards so really good to use at the wall now especially because one thing that's really good with drag because dragon's wall carry is good generally right he may be getting the wall without having to use his tail flip so he's going to get to the wall and from really far away then all he has to do is running full to then get the retail flip as well. That's really good for Dragonov. That's really good. And a full, a new wall combo. You know what? That's one thing Dragonov needed, bro, is a wall combo. His wall combos are kind of, kind of doo-doo. Uh, what's that? Is that down three? I think it's down three, two. 
one plus two so a new wall combo for dragon that's pretty cool and here this is one thing i will never stop gushing over tekken 8 for give them intros and this one is a meaningful intro right because obviously dragon has been causing issues for the raven core for as long as possible so now that the guy who invented the raven core is like dragon i've had enough of your bullshit, bro leave my ravens alone pretty cool like it and again unlike azucena and leo this one is a meaningful intro Bang. Cela faisait longtemps. Ange blanc de la mort. Ange blanc de la mort. Oh! I can. I can all. Ange blanc de la mort. Oh! Ange blanc de la mort. Oh! Blanc de la mort. Oh! Say it again. Ange blanc de la mort. Victor likes saying long time no see. I've noticed. Anyway. Also, we get to see some Victor stuff here as well. So there's a power crush that he has. Oh, that's his power crush heat engage thing, right? Now there's down back three. And again, this is something they've done across the board in second eight. All snake edge style lows instantly tail flip. Uh, Feng side set four and back turn down three. Lily snake edge, Brian snake edge. They all instantly tail flip now, which I think is to make it a bit, it's a bit more of a beginner friendly change, I guess. Um, as you're not getting full combos on snake edges now. For players at like the mid level and above, you weren't getting hit by snake edge anyway. By the lower level, even if you are, you can't react to Snake Edge yet, you are getting hit by Snake Edge. It does make your life a bit easier that you're not taking a full combo from them anymore. So that's cool. Uh, QCF4, Power Crush, 4-1. Two jab into Heat Burst, bang. Forward 4-4-3, four, four, still a combo. Forward 1 plus 2 to get the Wall Blast. And then a nice forward 4-3 four, to close it off. So back four three heat engage. So here's I think that's a heat engage that wall spurts. I don't know the difference yet in terms of the animation that they do um when they get knocked back. Um, but when you get when there are certain heat engages that are always just gonna leave them standing, and some heat engages that are also gonna wall splat. I think this is I I did uh, something I should have paid more attention to. Uh, that's one thing, one thing that's gonna be very big for me in Tekkenate is labbing which heat engages still give me a wall splat, which don't. Um because some will always leave them standing, even if their back is literally kissing the wall. So it looks like that is a move. Like, I imagine when they fall down, if their back's always going to leave you all splat. So back 4-3 is still a wall splat at the wall. So still pretty good. Very cute dragon on move to make a heat engager. And then running to... So does he have to do his heat... No, I don't think so. Because there's a heat smash button, right? So what I think this means is when dragon was in heat, he can do just push a button, but like an instant running to heat smash, right? Which I think I think is pretty cool that he does a running to and does it again with the other arm, right? Bang, bang, into a shoulder. Probably going to wall splat. Actually, heat smashes don't wall splat, I don't think. They break the wall. I don't think they wall splat to follow up for combos. 4-3 does not lock down anymore. Is it natural, though? Is 4-3 natural? Oh, no, no, it's a count here. It's a count here. It's a count here. Okay, doesn't lock down, though. Oh, but it might guarantee a crouch throw. Because that's another thing they've done in Tekken 8 as well. A lot of characters have stuff that guarantee them into crouch to follow up for crouch throws. As you said, has it with forward, forward, four. So that's something. Crouch throw, it is a heat engager. As you said, it also has a crouch throw, heat engager. Dragon has it too. They're both big knees as well. Um, Yeah, does the full crouch. Okay, so does the full crouch string again. So full crouch down forward two probably is what we're saying it is. Don't know the input. But then can do it into his tackle. Which is a heat. It's powered up with heat. So it might be harder to break. He might not be able to break when he's in heat. I don't know. And then does the one option. Nice big effect. Bang. So I think that's a new move for Dragonov. It looks like it's a sneak. It looks like sneak four maybe. Is a heat engage. Or probably a, could be a plus on block one as well. Because it's a big overhead axe kick. So it could be plus on block. Don't know yet. Four four into the full crouch string. So that's down four cards down four two again, but with four. So there's a knee. There's a knee as well. Which he doesn't just sneak. QCF2 is now a tail flip. Four three. Into shoulder. Stuff he's had for ages. And then I'm pretty sure it's the rage up. Very good trailer. Very good trailer. I just like how hard hitting his rage up is as well. I 
I think this is the first time we're seeing this stage as well. But yeah, honestly, very good trailer. Um, Dragonon's looking good. Having a new full crouch string could be huge for him, right? We don't know. I think it just it's the way it's going to change the down two situation. This is something I'm really excited for as well. That's just cool. Just bong, bong, health lit. That's just really cool, honestly. Yeah, that's going to be all from me on this one. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe, and enjoy. Oh, for my Spanish speaking viewers. So, um, right now, there's a feature that YouTube is slowly rolling out to some creators right now um where they get access to ai language dubbing of their videos and my uh reina reveal reaction currently has that ai dubbing so if you are spanish speaking i'm going to put a card in the top left corner that video is going to pop up um you guys can check out their video uh, if you click on the 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 cog here there should be something for languages and then you can check it should be audio track you should change you can change your audio track to spanish let me know how that has come out because obviously i myself am not spanish speaking i don't understand spanish um so let me know how that has come out if this is something you guys would like to see more in some of my videos um if you if there's any languages you guys would like to particularly like anywhere my my viewers are from that you think would be a, a good place you know let me let me know in the comment section down below um yeah thank you guys for watching please like comment subscribe if you enjoyed it and i'll catch you guys in the next video